get in there full time from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and it's finished Tottenham 2 Luton 1 and we move into fourth obviously we, we will stay fourth depending what happens in the Aston Villa versus Wolves game but uh but yeah I mean we made hard work of that but we won at the end of the day whether it doesn't matter whether we scrape a win battle the team just undeservedly win a win is a win at the end of the day and that's all that matters but yeah i mean to be honest i thought we were better than Luton throughout the whole game if i have to be honest i mean first off yes we played well but i think we were i think we were just really really wasteful to be honest <clears throat> in the first half if i really have to be honest i mean Luton's goal is absolutely shocking defending i'm not gonna lie it's absolutely abysmal I mean, it's from our own corner. Andros Townsend running down the line, skips past Basuma, puts it in, plays it into... I can't remember who it was. He was unmarked. That play played to Chong. He was unmarked. Put in the bottom corner, 1-0. Poor defending yet again. But, uh... Poor defending yet again. But, I mean, after that, we responded well, created a few chances, but we just weren't putting our chances away out most of the time. We were giving the ball away and you could hear the groans and frustration from the Spurs fans um, in in the game. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, second half was a lot, lot better. I thought Brennan Johnson made a massive impact. And when he came on, he had lots of joy down that right-hand side. And, of course, we made it 1-1. Own goal from Kabore. I thought it was Timo Werner, but it's an own goal from Kabore. Came from Brennan Johnson, who put the ball into the box. And then, and then obviously we scored again. Luton at the corner. We went up the other end. Sonny scored to make it two one. That took a bit of a deflection. And uh, yeah, overall I'm just happy that we've won. It's a big three points, and we've got we've got a few um, big games coming up. We've got obviously um, West Ham on Tuesday. We've got Nottingham Forest, which is now on Sunday at six o'clock. That I might be able to go to that game. I don't know yet, but big games coming up. We've got a keep on fighting now until the end of the season there was a, well we've got well we've got nine games left now obviously we still have to play Man City and Chelsea which are going to be tough games but we need to keep fighting now we can't afford any more slip ups and uh, it's the same with Villa as well to be honest um, you have to say it's the same with Villa you have to, it's the same with Villa you have to be honest you have to say but uh yeah, but like I said, I mean, Brennan Johnson, what an impact off the bench. I don't know why I didn't start. I thought Kulisewski didn't really do that great today, but I have to be honest. But when Johnson came on, massive impact. Bit of a concern, though, because um, James Madison came off. He apparently went down down the tunnel. Apparently, it's only a knock, though, so hopefully it's not as bad as we think it is. But yeah, anyway, big three points. Um, I mean, fair play to Luton. I just spat. That's disgusting. Um Fair play to Luton, they came fighting. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's been, to be fair, there's been a few big results down at the bottom. 3-3 three, three between Sheffield United and Fulham. 2-2 two, two between Chelsea and Burnley. Um, Everton lost against Bournemouth, of course. Brentford um, to play later. And obviously Forest drawing 1-1 one, one with Crystal Palace. So big results down at the bottom. So it's not the worst case scenario for Luton. But uh, yeah, anyway, man of the match, Brendan Johnson. Really good impact off the bench. Played very, very well when he came on. But yeah, move on to West Ham on Tuesday. Come on!